Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another day here at Geektopia Island. I am Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today, as you can see, what, what is this? It's a whole brand new TCG uh, straight from the Maple Land of Canada. Uh, our good old friends of Future Lore Studios decided to get, shoot us an email. If you didn't see the video, they sent us some new product of their first TCG ever that they made. And so far it's been pretty awesome. It's pretty neat. Yeah, yep. they wanted us to showcase and get on board and show y'all what it's about. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that on the channel. Yep. It may be one of the new staple games of our of our channel. So we're gonna we're hopefully hopefully it does some well and we most people enjoy it. For sure. Because we play tested, it's really fun. Uh, what we're gonna do for you first right now is go ahead and unbox some stuff for you in front and see what you can expect to get if you decide to order from them. And of course, the name of the game, uh, Legions Realms at War. And uh, yeah, basically you, there's eight factions or eight legions that you can pick from. And then you just start your deck building from there. Mm -hmm. But we got this. And then we also got some uh, actual packs from them as well that we'll open for you. And we'll see how this goes, right? Yep. And then we'll show you gameplay at the very end, guys. So yeah, yeah, we'll definitely. Stay tuned for it. Yep, for sure. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open this one. Yeah, get it. If you want to grab one of yours. All right. Now, of course, these are the versus starter decks for so, you know, you and a friend could easily pick up. Uh, and if you're wondering, hey, what's in them? Well, technically, they do have the lists on the back and it's a full deck. Oh, yes. The, yes, these are required to play the game because these actually have the your the warlord your, your warlords, them. your realms, and then, of course, your synergy cards. I think there's other different ones that you can get in here. Yeah. But as of right now, since it's the first set, this is your first way to actually do it. Oh no, we got that going. Hold on. I didn't see that part either. The stickers. See, professionalism. <laughs> it works. Yep, it All works. right. All right. You open it, pull this little cute thing guy out. Has a little, cute little starter decks. I don't know. Is that good distance right there, Trevor? Okay. Hold on. I'm shaking a little bit. We're good. <laughs> oh, and it comes with two packs there as well. Oh, nice. It does have two packs in That's it. That's awesome. And it had, this is, you know, the very trusted thing of learning how to play this. Uh, it's very simple. There are some nuances, but we got some answers from the uh, gentleman who sent this to us. From the company. Yeah, from the company. And also, yeah, and yeah, never mind. We got that. Uh, but no, we opened the two. So Trevor's gonna be playing this one normally. The demons, which they're pretty annoying because they'd steal your stuff. That's their whole yeah, job it, and purpose in life. That looks super, super annoying to looks play. Looks really, against. really good. Um, the other one is the angels, and they are all about like shields and healing themselves or like protecting themselves. So it seems pretty cool on what they do. Yep. And right now, Kevin's actually gonna be playing uh, the. The mystery mystical beasts later tonight, mm -hmm. which is pretty fun. And then of course uh, we have the dwarves here, which there is a dwarves faction and a humans faction. It looks like. Yep. Which is kind of awesome. wild. So we'll see. And of course with these, uh, they come with their first edition art, which is amazing. Actually, let's look at the dwarves here. If we can, and then we'll go ahead and just maybe open these there packs is. up. I was like, it's on the side somewhere. It's on the side, yeah. I don't wanna. Oh Why? yes. Why? Why is it so difficult? It's one of those things. See, it even has a little, little area in the middle. If anything, I'm going to grab that blade over there. Aha, got it. That's so difficult. <laughs> it's way too difficult. All it's right, like, so. I do hate messing with plastic and cardboard all the so time. So the Warlord is Michael the Divine Wrath. He's got 75 health. Um, and then special ability, you can Card card in the field, send it to the discard pile. So that's pretty good. Just off a card for taking five life. And his it cools down every four turns. So you can do that once every four turns to just off a card. Um, his deal four damage. It's pretty basic. Uh, magical attack is skills justice. You can deal extra damage up to two target player warriors where X is the number of holy counters on angels you control. That, that's really good. Yeah. All right. And of course, the dwarf warlord. It's Quartz Heart, the arcane rune master. It's pretty cool. Uh, he's solid. And what can he do? He, oh, yeah. These numbers, these big old numbers, that's your life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For a while. So, like, how long? 
I guess that was, then don't do it. It was better on the other side. Then just don't do it. We tried, guys. We tried. Yes, yeah. it is. This sure is the is. new TCG that we're going to show off. All right. Well, Quartz uh, Heart here, his special ability, he casts the runes as a cooldown timer because each one has cooldown. Bloodborne 2, which means you pay two health here. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Rearrange the cards in any order you choose and return them at the top of your deck. Then draw one. That's good. That's pretty good. I mean, it's literally, he. it takes, you look at the top five and you draw, and it takes four turns to do it. So you're always knowing what you're going to draw. That's amazing. Magical attack. So target one warrior on the field, return target warrior to its owner's hand. That's gross. And then physical attack, uh, staff of oracles, four damage straight to the face. So that's pretty good. Right there. Ooh. All right. So the veil, the veil, the way this works, the veil is like your special like arena that yep. you fight in, essentially, As you know. or that your that your race Bam. stays in, and it, it you can't go to it and activate it until three turns. Yep. Okay. Nothing. Oh, okay. So it says magic, but it is not Magic the Gathering because they don't have this game on Twitch yet because this game is brand new. Yeah, so we we're not sure what to put it under, but that's what it's under right now. Is there is there not like an other or a just maybe don't put anything um, on there? But don't, don't worry, it's, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, it's our it's its own game. I mean, technically we can lure the the magic crowd. In. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the veils they all have the same thing. They start at three counters, and you remove one each turn, and then yeah. Um, once there's no counters on it to remove, you pierce it, which essentially means it flips over into its actual realm. Uh, when this card is revealed, immediately activate the following effect, and nothing can respond to this effect. Yeah, no, it just happens. It, it happens and beginning. resolves. And bestow one holy counter on all face-up angels you control, which is pretty good, because yep. it's just a giant shield for them. And for this one, of course, Veil of the Guild, of course, same thing. Uh, remove three counters, you flip it, and it is the Frost Realm. Uh, da -da -da -da. You can target up to two cards on the field, return the target cards to their respective owner's hand. So dwarves are all about bouncing yeah, dudes. Yeah, dwarves are bouncy dudes. Oh, that's man. not good. I don't like that. Because you can only play one creature, one warrior a turn. That's just how that... Well, yes. there's tricks to keep doing that, but that seems annoying. So it sounds like dwarves versus demons is going to be a long, annoying game. It's just game. like, give me my dude back. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to be a long, back. annoying game. Yeah, for sure. All right, so the yellow synergy, the angel synergy is the Hall of Heavens. Search your deck for two angel cards with bestow keyword to add them to your hand and then immediately double the holy counters on all angel warriors currently on your field. You can do this once per turn or once like once your veil has been pierced, once yeah. you have your realm, you can do this and then it has a cooldown of the number. So this would take five more turns to redo. Yeah. So like these guys can't trigger unless this is pierced. Yeah. You know? Once you start listening to your favorite hardcore band, <laughs> yeah. pierce the veil, you flip yeah. it over done yeah then it's you can good. do all their fun stuff and this one of course is metallurgy of the clans has a cooldown timer of five target x dwarves unified cards in your discard pile and eradicate the target cards then you bestow plus x attack up to three dwarf warriors you control until end of turn where x is in the amount of unified cards eradicated by this effect maybe not too much powerful but we'll see how many like unified cards get used for them mm -hmm. and it's only until end of turn so it has to be a big, pretty big punch, which seems pretty hard. All right, so the Unified, so y'all know, Unified is essentially in any other card game like yep. an instant or Basically. like a spell. It just does a one, like they have one-time effects, and the act means that they're like an enchantment that sits in play or an addition. Yeah. So it'll sit in play, and it'll stay there and do its effect more than once, as long as it has like... As long as, you meet its, yeah, as long as you meet its requirements, uh, then it gets to act and do things over and over. But otherwise, it's just a one and done. And there's no there's no cost on anything unless it tells you to. So, like, I can just play this from my hand. But you can you have, as you can see, you have five slots things. Only. So you can only play five a turn. Because um, they would fill up. But the, these ones go away because they're just, like, ones and yeah, done. Yeah, and done. And fortified cards are basically... We make the joke already, but it's basically your trap cards or your hidden instances. So basically, you put them face down, and they can only be triggered on your opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. So if uh, whenever this the effect applies, then that's when you can flip it and say no. 
on your opponent or whatever you can do yeah protect your whatever dude. it does like they, yeah. they all do different things but it is essentially this like similar to a Yu-Gi-Oh trap card yeah yeah it flips on your opponent's turn and does something to help you. it has an instant trigger and then also has a passive trigger some some do some don't yeah yeah for sure the same thing applies uh some have arm which actually will go on to a dude and go and attach to that dude as like an enchantment for oh, that yeah. dude that is true and then of course you just have your warriors <clears throat> pop them you only have the what, five slots one two three yep. four five yep they have them down but don't worry we've noticed that every single deck has a lot of control so far <laughs> yeah so uh, it'll be really hard to have a max yeah, and if you get to have a lot of dudes, it's because the cards will let you have one real quick. Yeah. And like we said, you there's no resource management here. It's just you play one dude a turn, but you can play as many unified cards in your hand or fortified cards in your hand as possible. As long as you have the spots for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, Are the you, limits. You're talking about like the limited amounts? Yeah. Well, like, like I said, there's like so many times where it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah no it it sounds like a limit yes but you're not gonna really get very far like you're not gonna have so far we haven't had more than yeah. like three dudes you, in play you'll see it's just not gonna happen my deck is the undead and then you'll see i'll be trying to board wipe as much as possible constantly um for sure but then i can also have things that pump out three dudes at the same time yeah i mean i understand the limit kind of hurts sometimes but in the same regard it does add another like element of strategy to it which is kind of nice yeah um we've we've played a couple of different games that have limits so i i don't mind them that much hopefully you you get it's it's hopefully you don't hate it yeah. you'll see it in gameplay in a little bit it's pretty cool for sure um right. let's go ahead and i guess pump these little guys i'll at least show you the demon we'll just show you the yeah. warlords on the other uh the demon warlord is uh 75 health special ability is target one warrior on the field deal x damage to it or x to her where x is the total cost of the targeted warriors attack take control of it and it becomes a demon which is disgusting very much so. um and then the magic attack is take one warrior on the field with current attack two or less take control of it until the end of turn and then deal four damage yeah and the phoenix one of course uh, shalar the magic fire phoenix it has 80 health probably the highest of them all but there's a reason for it so the special ability from up from the ashes bloodborne 10 so you're paying 10 health to do this target up to two mythical beast warriors in your discard pile Re revive the target warriors to your side of the field and then draw a card yeah, so, so you get two dude specs and cool. you get to draw a card the magical huh yeah yeah for sure that's awesome. Uh, magical attack the target warrior on the field to deal two damage to targeted warrior. Then target one unified or fortified card on the field. Destroy that target, which is very, very powerful yeah. and super annoying. And then deal four damage because your warlord can punch the other warlord in the face mm -hmm. when it can. All right. All let's right. open some packs and see what these have in them. Yeah. Because we don't know yet. Yeah, exactly. We're excited for we, it. We have not opened. All right. I, this is my just classic way. Just pull it up. All right. Feels good. Get the ASMR going, right? <laughs> Softly, openly. All right. All right. Is it front? Yeah. Front. I feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, new unified for the blue for the humans. All right. So I'm just gonna pop these down, like yellow, red. It's oh. a pretty big. So like pink one. Immediately, the third one is the third one. Two stars. Yeah. So they they don't go by the name of rares but their rare value goes by stars in the left hand corner mm -hmm. so one star two star and we got our three stars going oh we got a little token heck yeah i'm gonna need that guy he's just a two attack skeleton warrior all right that titan looks cool and then we have angry. this one drop so the Fire's different right. races you got so this you're not guaranteed everything so oh, know that because yeah. i got the phoenix or the mythical beast titans dwarfs angels orcs and humans yeah and i got a multitude of things so basically <clears throat> two demons two phoenixes human and then that and the dwarfs and then of course i got a three star and there's a four star rarity and a five star rarity right i do believe so yeah so the the three star rarity was right there All which right. is for you So uh, these guys, or the package, are pre-constructed. 
They are a full solid deck that comes into the, you know, the two battle, two player battle deck here. But these are actually random. Yeah, these are random packs that you just get two packs with the starter deck. So yeah. that's pretty good, pretty good value. Yeah. Because there are things called, I do believe they're champions? Guardians. Guardians, there we go. That are only in the set and they add to your deck. They, they, they add to your field to help you do special things. Yeah, they have like, that's basically like mana points. On yeah, that. they have their own ability that do cool things. Man, I feel like I'm messing with that. Uh, little girl, hey look. And welcome, and, it's, and this is our first time. An undead open. character. Oh, character. An oh act God. for the undeads. Another human cred. Ooh, a Titan Act. Once per turn, you can eradicate one unstoppable card from your hand face up, then draw a card. There we go. Once per turn, pay eight life, target one unstoppable card in eradication zone and one on the field. Add the other card to your Dwarf. hand, destroy the human. Neat. I got another human. Oh, look at little Phoenix hatchling. Oh, mystical beast. Oh, that's a token. Oh my God, look yeah, at that token. Exactly. Oh, you got a little bird token? Look at that, that's adorable. Aw. Nice. I'm so excited. Dwarf I know. Prometheus. I'm excited. Human. Uh, orcs. Oh, so also in these, in the actual two player versus battles, like we said, it is their first redition art, which reminds me of like the movie Heavy Metal, and it's pretty amazing. Yeah, they're pretty wild. And some of the arts are pretty crazy. Some of them are brutal. Like, <laughs> yeah, so know that. When you go to the demons and orc side, they get real, real brutal and metal. All right, so I was going through this. So the token is like right there. Or is it? Oh, here's the little boar token. That's cute. Unify spirit. And then. So. Oh, I got the three star human. So are they randomly placed in the mm -hmm. packs? It almost feels like they're in the same place, but yeah, yeah. they're I've gotten two acts that are minor random or uh, Oh know. yeah, dwarf was the other one. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that either. No, I didn't know. Yeah. That's so, neat. Apparently, yeah. One, if you didn't hear Trevor over there in the background, so he's answering, or he's giving us your questions and whatnot for everyone. But, yeah, that wasn't a question. He's saying that any attack one dudes have an ability that help you gain on the battle, but anything higher is a... A vanilla dude. A vanilla dude. It, it actually matters a lot for the vanilla dudes because you have to get through like 80 health. Yeah. So the bigger attack is actually pretty nice. So you always have to attack the enemy's dudes first before you get to their warlord. Also, Future Lore Studios, I appreciate it. You should put tokens in the packs. Yes, thank you. It's already. nice. Like, you didn't have to, we didn't have to wait forever for, to get tokens. For years? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, thank God there's tokens. All right. Now, I'm going to screw up these guys. <laughs> I want to call them Prometheus, but they're Titans. Yeah, they're Titans. They're Titans. 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 Oh, oh yeah, my second ones. I'm excited to play these. Yeah, for sure. My orcs. Orcs and goblins, because goblins are the master race. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't figured out a second uh, faction yet, but we'll see. Shout out to anyone in the chat that's about goblins, too. Y'all yeah. are my favorite people. Of course. <laughs> Goblins are Kevin's favorite Dude, people. Goblins master race. <laughs> For sure. Uh, kind of. Legends like, of the Seven. What? Wow. Wow. Oh wow. TCG. It looks very similar to it. Yeah. yeah but no. it's it's plays very differently. That's actually one of the first things I thought is the art style of how the cards are made. Yeah. No, it, well. it is similar, but it's. Dude, that's the thing. It's very like, different. Like. It kind of looks like it, and then also it slightly plays like Yu-Gi-Oh, but like they're putting everything together from all the knowledge, it mm -hmm. seems like, and making it working pretty well. All right, all so right, the human. Do that. Humans. Uh, 70 health. Alero, the king of kingdoms. Uh, his special ability is last man standing. If Alero destroys a warrior this turn, reduce his damage counter by the attack of the destroyer's destroyed warrior plus four. Oh, so he just heals himself for that turn? Neat. Um, magic attack, honor, light flare, deal three damage to one target warrior and two damage to all adjacent. So if you're playing against him, you matters where you put your dudes. Yeah. And For then he deals five as his normal basic. And humans do a lot of like 
basically equipment or axe as they're yeah they do things onto onto, onto their dudes. dudes and they get them from the graveyard back into play which is kind of cool no now well, we don't know oh that's why because his name is prometheus this titan <laughs> uh warlord here the internal spirit he has 80 health as well special ability gift of strength he does bloodborne 10 so maybe he does damage to himself so target one titan warrior you control bestow plus six attack to target warrior the target warrior can make an additional attack this turn that that's strong that's, that's strong stronger, boys and then of course magic attack deal five damage divided how you choose amongst opponents warriors jeez that's pretty strong too physical attack six damage this might have to oh, be my six damage so, wow is that, that dude's big he's that, bigger than the undead yeah dude. he's a bigger man all right so he orcs smacks. Uh, my orc girl is Shrarn, the orc bane, orc bane, mummy, blood maiden. As you can tell, the the head cannon of the yeah. Uh, special ability, bloodlust, cooldown four turns. Target one orc bane or outer rim or orc on your side and the field. Then the targeted orc warrior can attack a target player's warlord directly this turn. Hmm. Cool. That's good. Uh, magic attack, ravage, hate, deal two damage to all opponents' warriors, and then physical attack is deal five. Heck yeah, I like that pretty good and then my boy morty's the grim shadow hand uh life of 65 special ability death wave uh, deals x damage to all warriors on the field where x is the total number of undead cards in your discard pile so obviously undead you're going to be dealing with that magic attack tendrils of decay spin the top three cards of the target player's deck into the discard pile which is definitely just going to be yours then deal one damage to all target players warriors and then deals five damage straight which is the highest besides him now yeah so that's pretty cool and like we were saying that deals damage to your opponent's warriors all the time that's because you have to kill the warriors before you can deal damage to the warlord yeah exactly so you have to clear the way except that's kind of cool apparently apparently the orcs, orcs are just, just like, like i don't like, care i'm gonna kill you he's, they're throwing axes across the battle <laughs> yeah they don't care yeah just like straight to the face all right let's get these two packs oh, yeah. we're gonna put these little cute little tokens right there if he's too bad well then group decision right here on the fly. Do we want to go straight into gameplay or open more packs? Or should we let people to decide? Y'all decide what you want us to do. If you want us to go into gameplay, we'll go into gameplay. Or if you want to see more packs first, we'll see packs. Yeah. Because I know we But know, either way, we'll do both. Yeah. Because for gameplay, we actually have our preset decks already set up so you can actually read the cards with us. Mm -hmm. So it won't be totally lost. Yeah. So like pack three. Let's see. So... One star, two star, two star. Dude, two this star. Al is cyberpunked. It's so cool. Heck yeah. Dwarf cyberpunk what? Al. I got a duplicate already? <laughs> yeah. What is this game? No. So I got the three star human. <gasps> I got a duplicate token. No, no you currently cannot. you're in the cannot. Yeah. As of right now, your color and cards are based on uh, your mm -hmm. warlord for sure. Yeah. Your warlord comes with the realm and synergy for now, but they are dropping their second set or supplement. Did you get one of these? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, actually, very soon. I can't uh, on the top of my head. Is it around March or February? In spring. So yeah, spring 2022. They'll have their second set already. So they already have plans to yeah. continue this. We're not really sure that if what they're doing otherwise, but at the moment, no. At the yeah. moment, you have to stick with whatever, like your cards have to be your cards. Yeah. I like, I want to support this for sure. Cause like, I want to see like dual color clans. And like warlords. currently a lot of the cards only really work with each other in that same thing. So it's kind of nice in that regard, but who knows what they're going to do in later. They could mix and match them, which would be pretty easy and pretty cool. Yeah. Because there's a lot that you could do with that. Because I'm pretty sure it can be just called like factions or something. You yeah. Know? Let's see. And the little book is just like a basic. Anyone can use these cards. They're just there to help. You, uh -oh. can, you can use those for whatever. Yeah. They're not faction specific. That one was way easier to open. Their packs are super easy to you open to. Yeah. I don't have to hate life to do it. Yeah, right. Humans. Undead. Orc, finally, another orc. That looks, see, that, that, the high res things are looking pretty oh, solid. Wow. That just Wheel of Fortunes. Oh, yeah? All players discard their hand, all players draw that many credits. Hey, set fire to the world here. Jeez. All right, Trevor, here we go. Bloodborne 10, consume 10. 
As an additional cost to play this card, discard one demon card from your hand. Destroy all unified and fortified cards on a target's player side of the field. Then increase all of the target's player's cooldowns by one. I feel like that's too high of a cost for that. Because you gotta consume 10 and deal 10 damage. But man. It do, well, I guess Phoenixes, man. Yeah, it can have so many, like, fortify. That, that would definitely be sideboard for sure. I just put away the token. I didn't, didn't I? I think I did. Hmm. Oh, here's the token. Never mind. Another beast. I don't know if I want that card. No. Neat, but I don't know about it. Man, my undead barely got any love in these packs <laughs> yeah. for sure. They did. There might be more in the box. We don't know. I don't know. This guy's sleepy by putrid puppet of sickness. That's pretty metal. You can target one warrior on your side of the field and one fortified card on the target player's field. Destroy both tar target cards. Yes. This is the new game, yep. Kelly. This is totes the new game. Showing us love. Showing them love. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. We'll see what it... This art is so awesome. All right. Heck yeah. So, what have we decided? Shall we jump on into games? Yeah, we'll go to gameplay. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll come we'll, back to opening packs. We'll play a few more if everyone's still around after gameplay. We can open some more packs. We will, but we want to set you. See what happens. All right. No one needs this. And of course, just to let everyone know that we do have a Patreon. Yeah. You know, Patreon slash Geektopia Island. Just. All it takes is a, a buck to help us continue our efforts and push forward and make better content for sure. Do that and hopefully get us to where we can start streaming more. That would be awesome. All right, so there we yeah. go. Get <clears throat> this going, maybe we get some awesome tokens left. Right? Some burps. I'm about it. We need some more burps for sure. All right. I think we just go over the layers. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. yeah. First edition. So for those that are still here asking and wondering, there's 10 cards per pack, 24 packs in a box. Yep. So you get a good amount still. And I think they're, are they at 100 or less than 100 for a box right now? I can't remember. I think it's around a hundred for a box, but you, yeah, you do have to order from them from Legion's Realm at War.ca. Yeah, but it's the same pretty much for any card. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's actually <clears throat> mechanic, literally the same, like less than Magic. But here, let's see, two. I got the three stars. Set the world on fire. We already saw that one. Oh, we got a Frost Wolf token. Look at him. Yeah, look, here. look at this angry card. That demon's head just spiked. Just oh, angel. That's an angel brother see i don't get the three back end see that's where i'm kind of confused because you get the one star two star the rare and then the back three what <clears throat> oh Armored War okay. <laughs> i just literally just for no reason yeah, we got a little bit. We got a new Unified for Trevor. Yeah, Trevor's getting all the love right now. Yeah. The, the, my other other rare was also a demon. But the Spirit Horde, release the Spirit Horde. Oh yeah, ASMR, let's go. Yeah, for sure. All right. Oh, yeah, I guess I can <clears throat> set them into peoples. Wow, that things. card's real good. Oh, attack fire. Fairy. Undead. Humans. Oh, forge. Yeah, for the dwarves. Yeah, the titans. Oh, titans are fists. They're just yeah. fists punching out of the ground. We got a playset of this dude already. Are you kidding me? All right, it's tall shield, good. Of ancient storm shield. Let's see. This quick hero warrior gains bestow plus eight. So the target warrior in the warrior gains blockade. This warrior cannot attack. Oh, 
So it's still, it's just there. Just there to punch things. Uh, the dwarf Run unified. Away. You can pass this only if your dwarf warlord has quad sword. Has an additional cost to play this card. Reveal one unified card from your hand. Shuffle into the deck. Target up to five unified dwarf cards in the discard and or eradication zone. Put them on the top of your deck in any order. Then if you do, draw one. Pretty good. Pretty good. We have a playset of the human deck. Yeah, already. Oh yeah, playset is three. Yeah, playset is three. Uh, well, certain cards you can only play one of. So. Oh, oh yeah, these could be four. four. Yeah, yeah, that's right. If you didn't hear, it's four stars or two ofs. Five stars are one ofs, which makes sense. Watch your fist here. We got angels. Oh, ununified normal. That's pretty cool. Plateau, the prevailing winds. All players target two cards of the respective sides to the field. Return all targeted target cards back to the bottom of the respective owner's deck at random order. Then all players draw one card. Huh. That's that can be useful. Of course, I got to another skelly token. I yeah. believe we have four, three of those as well. No oh, man. The yeah. Uh, Phoenix and then Angele. All right. Grim wish for more life. Huh? Yeah. That looks awesome. Elemental sprite gathering. Yeah, the reduce of the damage DMC is healing, right? Yeah. Yellow. Yeah, awesome. Prometheus. Prometheus and Bob. Anyone's ever Angles. watched that? Mystic Fire Beast Power. Minotaur look angry. Oh, let's see. Primordial Prophet of Light. Phoebe. Retrieve. When this warrior enters the battlefield, you control. Mm. The controlling player targets one unified fortified card in the discard pile. Add it to the card to their hand. Wisdom. So it's a rare that both both gets a card and then also draws a card. Okay. All right. I think I can get with it. Bestow six to a warrior at the end of turn. If it's equipped, destroy the equipped warrior. Yeah, the... The, the dwarf card. The dwarf card. Oh, look. Oh. Took... Okay. We got a lot of boars. Oh, that's a token. That's what that looks like. Yeah. We got an angel token. Yeah. All right. We got an angel. We got a human. We got a lonely goth girl. We got a there. We got another human. Ooh. We got thrall. So thrall. <laughs> Sil dudes. Re residual. Sorry. Magic. This face-up card cannot be destroyed by fortified cards. Once per turn, you can target one Orc Bane unified card in the discard pile and eradicate it. And if you do activate eradicated card's effect. Huh. Pretty cool. Ooh, a rare un... We got bird. Rare undead. Nice. What'd what that does do? It do? What what that do? Um, Once per turn, it's an act. Unified act. Okay. Nothing let... Nothing left but Putrid Plague. Once per turn, you may pay Bloodburn 4 and eradicate one Putrid Undead from your hand or from your side of the field face up. Deal two damage to all warriors on the field. Once per turn, you may pay four and one target undead in your eradication zone. Send the targeted card to the discard pile. Huh. All right, then. So you just get to constantly bring back things. All right. And kill the board. You want to open some packs, Trevor? <clears throat> I feel like he doesn't. Right. I feel like he does. No, I feel like he doesn't. Yeah. Um, sounds good. Uh, Titan. Oh, another undead one. Or Grimace, the Grim Prince. Oh, wow, that's very grim. Plunder. When the warrior enters the player, the player offers their deck to the opponent to cut. Okay. And then I get to draw a card. And also has a parish target one warrior on the field. With the original attack of two or less, destroy the targeted warrior. That's good. 
That's real good, actually. Got that first four star, bro. Oh, four star. The Mystic Druid Leader of the Hood. <laughs> yeah, he's a guardian. The blue guardian, the human guardian. The oh. start of the game after Mulligan, search your deck for one hood card and add it to your hand. Zoom 10 if your warlord is destroys at least one warrior in battle. Bestow two to all hero warriors on your side of the field. Oh, wow. Was it the yeah. last card? Oh, it was foil. No, it was everything. in the middle. <clears throat> and the fact that it was in place where the rare was has that that uh that keyword hood back from the hood, yo. No, there's like two or three cards in it about the hood. Oh, oh yeah. we got another one and a cute little wolfies. Yeah, we got another guardian. So Demag, Boomin, Angel, Dwarf, Random. Oh, it's the guardian for the doors. That looks bad. A Reeling Gatekeeper for the for the Fingar Peak. At the start of the game, after Mulligans, target player chooses one card in their hand and places it at the bottom of their deck. Consume Tim. If your dwarf warrior destroys at least one warrior by battle this turn, you can target up to two dwarf cards in your discard pile. Place the target cards on top of your deck in any order you choose. Right then. Wow. Okay, what? So your titans, this yeah. card just makes them better. Okay. As long as this card remains face up on the field, bestow plus three to all unstoppable titans on your side of the field. At the end of turn, if you can't consume ten from him, your guardian, yeah. destroy this. Oh well. Wow. If this, this card is eradicated by an effect of an unstoppable, you set this card face down on your side of the field. The fortified. That's just like my dudes are big. My dudes are big. Rock, 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 rock. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Yeah. <clears throat> See, this is how packs start. You say you're gonna just open a little bit and then just keep going. We're gonna open them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're gonna open them. We're just gonna open them. You feel the cardboard crack. Yeah, you're like, I need the crack. Seeping into the veins. Through the fingers of the flesh, the fingers. All right, whoa. Oh, wow. wow. Hellhound looks cool. Well, That's just a cool token. Just look at that art right there. Just a common little one star art. Uh, Bow of the Archangel, Bloodborne, Consume 5, as additional cost. Play this card, remove 10 holy counters. Target 3 cards on the field, send them to the discard. <laughs> Zap. Zap. Glinting Lance of Zion. With an arm. Bestow plus 4 attack. If this card leaves fill the target, one card of the field, destroy target card. Damn. Alright. Yeah. So the human deck is going to be just angry super punchy well, i mean we have like everything for it yeah for sure and the dwarf deck dwarf deck can be pretty gnarly too yeah all right okay then i'm gonna Woman, go demon angel beasts trying with my baby fingers i got this Thank you, man hands. Let's go. <laughs> um, I don't know. But something like that. Yeah, Dwarf's got a lot of good shit. Oh, well, let's see. I, I can't wait to read all these like normal cards, too. They look really good. Yeah. That card especially looks really good. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, <laughs> heck yeah. Uh... Three star angel. Bloodborne 12. So negate all corrupt, swipe, plunder, and retrieve effects until the end of turn. Then deal one damage to target player warlord for each lost messiah card in the eradication zone. Huh. I wonder what that means. To be honest. Bow to the fall. Oh, wait. Fucking. That yeah. card's real good for me. Yeah. Uh, one warrior perish when you can target one mystic fire beast on your side of the field. Destroy the targeted warrior. Search your deck for one phoenix flames mystic beast card and add it to your hand. Then perish, you may manifest two phoenix hatchlings onto the field. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'll kill your dude to make two dudes. Bet. Token. Green. 
of them. All right. Oh, you got a Naga. Perish one, target one warrior on the field with the original attack, three or more, destroy target warrior. Then if you do, draw one card. Yeah. You just destroy dude and draw a card. That seems unfair. Oh my god, I got another rare Grim Grimoire. <laughs> Chapter 2. Consume 10. Uh, all undead warriors currently on your side of the field have perished. Target player loses 5 alchemy points. Pretty cool. This card is sent in the deck. Blah, blah, blah. Chapter 2. Uh, add target card to your hand. And then you can only activate once per turn. But that's kind of cool. I asked one. Oh, no, there's one more there's for one you, buddy. More. You got it. What do we got here? Blue, red, undead man's. I like undead man's. Titan. Consume 10. Discard one for your hand. Target demon warrior. Your opponent discards two cards and draw two cards on death. Wow. That's good. Pretty good. Not good. Soul feeding for the fallen. Oh wait, we already got this for Trevor. When this card is first activated, search for one fallen demon card added to your hand. Once per turn, you may discard one card from your hand. Play two life. Target one warrior on the field. Take control of the target warrior until end of turn. The target warrior becomes a demon in addition to that leaf. Oh, I think it's another one. You just yeah, ever can have it. Yeah. Gross. Okay. And that's, yeah, that, that's, yeah. I have seen their Warlord for sure. Yeah, the Warlord's pretty, pretty good. Pretty hot, pretty baller. She's pretty waifu. Yeah. Uh, Majestic Wings of the Seraphim. Once per turn, if a Seraphim warrior is conscripted from your hand to your side of the field, the conscripted gains Gust, uh, which is when the warrior enters the field, your controlling player targets warrior and in the field, return to the warrior's hand. Gross. This card has six more holy counters. You can pay six life. Send this card from the discard pile. Wait, send this card to the discard pile. Draw three. Neat. Pretty good. Burb. Burb. I might have accidentally been putting tokens in the. Yeah, thing, we might have. I don't know. That's, that's all right. We we'll we'll figure that out. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <clears throat> boom, boom. There we go, though. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoy. We are definitely going to start uh, putting decks together uh, with these cards, with the little starter decks and actually making something pretty unique and better and all that fun stuff to play. Mm -hmm. So with that, thank you for joining here at Geektopia Island. And hopefully you had a good, great stay. Thank you, guys. We'll see you all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Go ahead and hit that like button down below and hit the notification bell down there to keep up to date with any of our videos that are coming out. And also make sure you subscribe, guys. We're super close to a 1,000. And we'd like to go ahead and give a thank you to our Mythic and Above Patreon subscribers. So thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan.